much uh, performance driven pressure. There's so many things to think about. There's so much physical demand to championship uh, performance that if your heart isn't well prepared, um, we're in big trouble. Really, really cool experience. I think uh, everyone that's part of the tour really enjoyed it. You know, this trip has definitely helped me and I'm, I'm gonna take a lot of things out of it to help me when I do go back um, to Australia. Hopefully I can take some of the things I've learned and share that with my teammates um, back at Hawthorne as well. And I think I can speak for everyone who was on the trip. We definitely got uh, a lot out of meeting those people and um, it's something that I'll always remember. So Heart of Champions Tour is to kind of get to the, get to the heart of championship living. And um, this tour, uh, I think, gave us opportunities not just to get a veneer of professional sports, but um, get to the heart of it, get to um, get way backstage and deeper. So those are the first few things that come to mind from Heart of Champions Tour. Yeah, I didn't know what to expect from um, you know a life coach. I've never really um, dealt with one, but. Um, Coach Mo is a, he's a great man and um, he genuinely cares about people um, and he, he likes to influence and um, really drive people in life, not only in sports or in careers or wherever they want to go, but in life in general, sort of finding that meaning and what you want to do with your life. Hi, right there, I guess I have to yeah. shake your hand. <laughs> That's a pass. So, so, so you, man, you, you run it, you pee yeah. on out. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you just gotta drop this up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, get it back again. Yeah. That's fast. So you, oh. We've just taken a tour of the, the Brooklyn Nets facility. Really, really cool experience. I think uh, everyone, everyone that's part of the tour really enjoyed it. Um, I think coming along and, and uh, obviously seeing you know, the training centre, but also learning a little bit about uh, you know, how the players prepare for games, how they recover. It's not too different uh, to the way um, you know, we prepare for games, I guess, as AFL players. I think the only difference is you know, they're backing up every second day. So um, yeah, really, uh, really enjoyed it. And uh, everyone's out in the, uh, the courts having shots now, which, uh, which they're really enjoying. So uh, it's been a really great day. Sat uh, above the two courts, and we got invited by Brett Brown, which is lovely of him to do that. Um, just yeah, watch the guys shoot around, and I think every person we meet along this tour is is something that um, I, I'm here for. You know, to, to learn off and to gain a little insight of, of them, and it's you know give you an idea of yeah where I want to head in life. There's lots in a coaching role that you can't do. Yeah. I get that as well, but it did also allow you outside. Really, it just lets me find other things yeah. within my job. Yeah. To be able to um, meet guys like Sean Marks, the jam for the Brooklyn Nets, and get a sense for how it uh, how things work on uh, not only the basketball scale but um, the corporate world as well, surrounding basketball, which I found really interesting. A few of the little things which you wouldn't even think about, which uh, you know, hopefully we can implement um, into our footy back at home as well. I'm Ernie. Gary. Gary, nice to see you. How you doing, Harry? Harry, Gary, Harry, Ernie. <laughs> <laughs>
you know, why he's just a regular person. So it wasn't just like a, you know, hello, like a five minute chat, like he, he really did open up and, you know, told us some personal things and, um, yeah, I think it, it was just, it was a, it's a great experience for me, you know, just for him to open, I didn't think he would open up that much, but, you know, for him to share his stories and things he's gone through and how he got to the top level and, you know, I, lo I, 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 I just loved it, so. Yeah, I think that's what made everything so special is that we got to see him and meet him on a personal level rather than a meet and greet like you mentioned and just his signature. We really got to know Kevin Durant as a person. Anything that I can do to inspire the youth where I come from first and then around the world. I mean, I want to start at home first. And I know it takes a long time to really impact the kid's life and I think that's an everyday process. But somebody they can look up to, I wish I had that growing up. I wish I can look towards somebody and say this is who I want to know. So. I mean, as a coach, I can't be afraid of failure. I think as athletes, you can't be afraid of failure because because you have to. It, it happens all the time. You can't control. You're gonna fail. It's a, it's almost a question of how you manage your failures, right? to be um, probably hitting a three-point at the Staples Center, you know, one from one, 100%, you know, the guys like, you know, Gary Ablett, Harry, you know, Harry Cunningham, Tom Mitchell, you guys, Nicky, all had a shot and missed and um, I was the only one to be able to hit it, so I think that's a, that's a very, very, I don't know, I just, I just feel good about it and to be, <laughs> to be able to be 100% at the Staples Center, I don't think I'm ever going to step in the Staples Center again, so um, I think that's a probably a real, very good moment and um, probably one of the parts that I've really enjoyed here and there's, there's other parts but that was, I don't know, it's up there because not many people get a chance to hit a three-pointer at the Staples Centre. Yeah, I sort of didn't know what to expect with these guys, you know, um, you know, at such a high stature I didn't think they'd give as much time as what they did, you know, they'd be very time restricted with um, their heavy schedules they've got but um, they were absolutely amazing with the amount of time they gave us and the amount of care. Um, that was one thing I was probably able to take away from everyone we met um, who were at that high level of celebrity status, I guess. Um, they were very, very generous with their time and um, they felt like um, they were genuine people and they really cared about us getting um, something out of it. And um, I think I can speak for everyone who was on the trip. We definitely got uh, a lot out of meeting those people and um, it's something that I'll always remember. Quite interesting, this was a, a super group. It's amazing how well this, this group, this team formed to travel together. There's a little bit of Shangri-La. I know we met Curry and you know um, Durant and a few, a few of the NBA legends, but like, I think it's just having this, this group that's probably one to remember very well. I'm obviously going to remember meeting the other guys, but it's just you know, the, the whole group just being together, because I know I've, I've, I've you know, made friends that I want to have forever, and I think that's just probably a big thing to take out of. Um, out of this trip. It was outstanding, I think everyone, there was 11 of us in the group and everyone got on like a house on fire, it's like we'd known each other for years almost and, and yeah, I think everyone clicked really well and that's what made the experience even more special. This tour had some wonderful, wonderful moments. And you know what else? I think we laughed well. And um, that's really good, it's a healthy way to live and I, I felt like I lived well with you and I'm so grateful, we, we laughed well. Coach Mo gave us a number of good stories and life lessons um, a lot to do with sort of helping others and the fulfilment that you get from doing that. So 
uh, you know, we learned a lot about that as well, and hopefully we can carry that into our lives when we head back home. Like everything that he's said to me, like every time he speak, I'm, I'm just, my eyes are on him, just, just listening, because everything he says, you know, it, it just, it hits me, and it, 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 it gets me sort of, I don't know how to really, <laughs> how to really describe it, but um, it, just, it makes you listen. It makes you listen, and I feel like I'm, you know, this trip has definitely helped me, and I'm, I'm going to take a lot of things out of it to help me when I do go back um, to Australia and just to develop my game and my, my personal life. You got you get to get all these sort of nice little mementos to take home, like your photos with your Steph and your KDs and and whatnot, and you know shooting hoops in the Staples Centre sounds fantastic. But um, I suppose if you're looking for a trip that might give you a bit more clarity of where you're at, where you're at, away from you know the sporting field um, or away from your career in, in general, um, I think hype tours is something that um, perhaps can help you out. Um, especially when you've got guys like Coach Mo that can sort of help mentor the group. So the relationships you build are, are probably more important than the um, celebrities that you know you get to have a quick snap with.